Okay, what's up guys? This is J-Man Time, and today I have another rare weapon for you guys today. Now, today's weapon comes all the way from Australia, and is one of the rarest Australian weapons designed during the Second World War. Now, when it comes to World War II era weapons from Australia, I'm pretty sure you've all heard of some of the other rare weapons, like the Austin submachine gun, or the Owen submachine gun. But have any of you ever heard of the Robinson M11 SR? The Robinson M11 SR is a or was a prototype machine pistol slash PDW that was designed between 1942 and 1943. This weapon was chambered for the 9x19mm Parabellum and had a 16 round magazine. This weapon also had a rate of fire of between 500 and 600 rounds per minute. Now the Robinson uh, Model 11 SR was one of the rarest um, Australian prototype weapons designed during the Second World War. Along with other prototype weapons, for example, the Owen prototype submachine guns that were designed between 1939 and 1940. 41. The Robinson submachine gun was actually designed by a man named Russell S. Robinson between 1942 and 1943. It was a prototype machine pistol or a PDW designed to supplement other handguns that were being used by the Australian sector of the British Commonwealth forces during the Second World War. It was meant as a possible replacement for existing sidearms that were already in service like the Webley series of double action revolvers that were designed in the UK or foreign designs like the American uh, 45 caliber M1911 which was also being used in very limited numbers by Australian troops operating in the Pacific theater of the Second World War against Imperial Japanese troops on the various front lines where Australian forces were being deployed and Australian forces that were being deployed within the territory of Australia itself. Now the Robinson uh the Robinson, now the Robinson M11SR is considered a PDW, a personal defense weapon. That is largely because this weapon was not only a machine pistol in the standard sense, but she was also one of the first machine pistols to be fitted with a permanent stock. Now there were multiple prototypes of this machine pistol. There's a standard version that has no stock, and there's a secondary version that has a folding stock, very similar to the photo stock you would see on World War II era submachine guns like the American M3 Grease Gun or the German MP40 or post World War II uh, machine pistols like the Czechoslovakian Scorpion submachine gun for example. Now according to the various archive records that I've come across this Robinson machine pistol was based on an earlier submachine gun prototype known as the Gazitsby Point forty five or the Gazette B forty five, which was another Australian machine pistol, but I can't find any images of that gun. If I do ever come across any more information on the Gensby uh, 45 ACP caliber machine pistol, I'll make a video on that one too. But this Robinson machine pistol is one of the other rare machine pistols that was designed for Australian troops in the Second World War. Um, this weapon was actually tested in 1943 at the Litgo Arms Factory. Now the Litgo Arms Factory back in the Second World War was responsible for making weapons like the British uh, Brent gun and some of the Lee Enfield models that were being used by British colonial troops and by the British Army as a whole, along with other factions that were fighting for the UK, for example, the Polish, the Belgium, and the Free French Resistance Forces. So this Litgo Arms Company actually tested and manufactured several variations of the Robinson machine pistol. Now, according to the test, this weapon was actually a fairly good weapon. The only problem was the British didn't really have a need for a machine pistol, especially since the British had already begun mass production of the Sten gun. The Sten gun had already reached Australia by the time 1943 came around in the form of the Austin. The Austin was the Australian version of the Sten gun along with the standard model Sten guns. Also, the Australian forces had adopted the Owen submachine gun. 
the Owen submachine gun would become one of Australia's most iconic weapons of the Second World War. It was basically the Australian Tommy gun from my perspective, you know. The Owen gun was basically the Australian uh, equivalent of the Tommy gun, while the Austin was the Australian equivalent or upgrade of the British Stead gun. Now, even though the British and Australian forces had no need for the weapons, Mr. Robinson continued to experiment with this weapon, making several different variations of the design between 1944 and 1945. After World War II, the Robinson machine pistol was actually tested along with various other potential replacement weapons, for example, the Sten Mark V, uh, the MCE which was a, another PDW that were designed in the UK along with the MCEM2 which was a upgraded version of the MCEM1. These were two British machine pistols that were being designed in the late four, in the uh, mid to late 40s as potential replacements for the Sten gun. Now during that test, even though the Robinson submachine gun did good, the British still wanted the MCEM of class of submachine guns to be a potential replacement for the Sten gun, but ultimately all of these weapons were replaced by the Sterling submachine gun, another weapon that was designed during the Second World War. So, so as a result, the Robinson submachine gun or machine pistol slash PDW pretty much was abandoned after 1946, and that was basically the end of this weapon. So, what do you all think of the Robinson um, 11 SR uh, model 11? SR. So what do you all think of the Robinson Model 11 SR machine pistol from 1942-1943? If you ask me, it is one of the uh, more advanced weapons designed by the Australian forces. I'm pretty sure this weapon would have been handy in close quarters combat with Japanese bonsai troops. For example, you all know that during World War II, when the, when the Empire of Japan was getting desperate fighting against the Allies, they began using bonsai charges pretty often. In the American Army, we pretty much had a good weapon in the form of the M1911. It was good for dealing with close quarters attacks, along with the Thompson and later the M3 grease gun class of submachine guns. But this Robinson machine pistol would have been good enough for the Australian forces, as most Australian forces were still using British revolvers rather than semi-automatic or fully automatic handguns. Now, the Australians did have some American M1911 and a, a variety of other pistols, but this Robinson pistol would have been a better weapon, but ultimately it was never adopted. So what are your opinions on this weapon? Please put them in the comment section below, and until next time, this was J-Man Time, signing off.